guys, it's Game Raymer here. So today I have a pickup video for you. Now this video consists of tons of different retro games all the way up to new gen items that I got from GameStop. Now a lot of these items are actually promo items. So let's go ahead and see what I got. So some of these first items I actually found local at a couple different video game stores near me. So first we have this stack of Magnavox Odyssey 2 games. Now this system actually released in 1978 and there were only a short number of games for this system. So there's actually 46 in total. Now I already have a couple in my collection. And of course I found these complete in box games. So these were pretty cheap. They were less than $5 a piece. And the boxers are in fairly good shape for being such an older game. So we have all of these games and they include the actual manual that comes in here. It says Magnavox quality in every detail with these bright and vibrant colors. And then of course the cartridge games look like this themselves. So they have this pretty sweet looking handle on here. So of course I picked up this football game. This cosmic conflict game, which appears to be some sort of space game. So this is pretty sweet looking. And once again, all of these are complete. And then we have this soccer game and hockey. So this has a two in one. And then we even have Invaders from Hyperspace, which actually looks like a pretty fun game. Showdown in 2100 AD. So this one is pretty interesting. It says Swaggering Robot Gunfighters Duel Under a Future Sun in this electronic recreation of the classic adult western. The scene changes after every shootout so that every combat offers a new challenge. Three levels of action. You can try to outdraw other players. You can try to outshoot the computer. You can even sit back and watch extremely realistic computer controlled androids fight it out between themselves. Full sync sound action, digital scoring. Then we even have this pocket billiards game. And then this pretty sweet game called UFO. So right here it says, UFO, you're in command of an Earth Federation robot control battle cruiser. Your mission is to protect Earth from endless swarms of unidentified flying objects. You're armed with laser cannon and protected by an energized force field, but beware of what appears to be light speed starships armed with computer guided missiles. Advanced digital scoring with memory displays, high player's name and score as well as current player score, sync sound action, any number can play. So on here it even has this original price sticker and this was from Sears and this says that it was $29.99 which is pretty expensive for back in the day. So these are some great additions to my collection and I'm excited to try and go ahead and complete this set of games as there aren't that many of them and I would love to go ahead and have a full set since I do have quite a bit of items for the Magnavox Odyssey. And then of course we move on to three more of these Atari Jaguar games. So I actually found these local as well. So here we have this game called White Men Can't Jump for the Atari Jaguar. Then we even have this Pinball Fantasies. And of course, Flip Out. So these are just a couple more games that I can go ahead and add to my collection. I still need quite a few of the Atari Jaguar games, but once again, there aren't very many for that system. So it should be something that I can go ahead and complete in the future. And then this game, it's not very often that you find Neo Geo games. So this one was actually released at the launch of the Neo Geo. 
and this was in 1990. So this game is definitely a lot of fun and it's called Nam 1975. So this of course is a war game and it's a pretty fun shooting game. I'm really excited to try this out on the Neo Geo system and it even came in this protective case. So I'll go ahead and take this out. So right here, the cool thing about this game is that this is actually the uncensored version of this game. Now, of course, right here on the front cover, you see a man in the background right here. Looks like there's a tank behind him. And then you also see this female. And of course, she is a part of the uncensored version. So right here, she's showing a little bit of her cleavage at the top. And then, of course, her leg is kind of popped out from her dress right there. So that is, of course, revealing for this time period. So the cool thing about this game is that it's uncensored, which means that this is untouched. Now, what they ended up doing back in the day when they sold this game, they actually marked this image right here. So they went ahead and put a black spot over her leg and on her cleavage to go ahead and hide that and to censor that part of this artwork. So I thought that this was a really cool game and it's definitely great for the history of video games, especially when you find something like this that is so controversial at the time that it released. So I'm really excited to add this to my collection. And then of course you'll notice that the cart itself actually has the same woman on here as well. So what they would have done is just take a marker and go ahead and just mark up the cart and the actual case itself. So this is definitely pretty sweet and I'll have to go ahead and get some gameplay on this. And then on to tons of Sega games right here. So this is a Sega Game Gear game. Now this is another one of the Codemasters games. So this is Cosmic Spacehead. So this one doesn't look like your typical Sega Game Gear game because it is this larger cart right here. And then on the back, it says Codemasters, and it's an odd-shaped game. So there's actually only a few of these style games, so I'm trying to complete this set. I already have some more of the expensive games in this set, and of course these ones go for a little bit more than the regular games, so I'll have to go ahead and try and find the rest of these to complete this set. And then on to some Sega 32X games. Of course I found this complete in box game. This is NFL Quarterback Club. It says 94 season quarterback in the team attributes. So this was complete and I found it for a great deal. Of course it comes with the cartridge itself. And then it even has this manual right here for the game which is also in very good shape. And then it even comes with this pretty sweet poster. So it has this offense side right here and then defense. So this is a pretty sweet addition to the game here and it has some plays on here and it's a pretty neat poster. And then of course I found this Sega 32X game. So this is World Wrestling Federation back when it was WWF says play Raw like never before. So this is WWF Raw, Wrestling's Rudest and Roughest. And of course this one is also complete in box as well. It even has this little mail-in slip right here and another poster. And then of course this poster has some great Sega Genesis titles on here. Of course, we see Mortal Kombat up here. We see Maximum Carnage for Spider-Man. We see some more sports games on here. Even have this Virtual Bart, another Mortal Kombat game, Soccer, WWF, and some Itchy and Scratchy game. So this is pretty sweet as well. I always enjoy finding some of these posters in these games because it would be pretty sweet to hang some of these up. Of 
course on to this game we have Tempo. Now this one is actually one of the more expensive Sega 32X games and this one was pretty sweet because I got it for the price of the cartridge but of course it comes with the manual as well and it's pretty neat because it even has this original box right here. Now it appears that someone actually cut this box apart and went ahead and put it in this plastic case to go ahead and make it easier to display and put up on a shelf. So that's an interesting way that this person did this. Now this isn't actually uncommon. A lot of people used to do this back in the day as the boxes could easily get damaged. So these cases would actually protect the original art style on here. And this game actually looks pretty sweet. This artwork on the front cover right here is pretty cool. And then it even shows some different gameplay pictures right here on the back. So it says, King Dirge is trying to steal the rhythm out of Planet Rhythmia. It is up to Tempo, the hyper-grooving grasshopper with special sound energy to save the world of music from the evil clutches of King Dirge. Defeat King Dirge and his evil empire by bombarding them with musical notes or executing Tempo's deadly spin attack. Tempo flies to get into some difficult areas for special power-ups and sound energy. Tempo jams through seven rhythmic levels while listening to an awesome mix of rock, rap, and funk tunes that change in tempo to reflect tempo's energy level in the game. Q sound audio allows the soundtrack to be heard in stereo while you play. So that's pretty sweet and I'll have to go ahead and get some gameplay of this as well. And then on to this loose card, we have Cosmic Carnage for the 32X. Now this one was one of those pack-in games for the Sega 32X. So this one is a more common game. And then of course on to some Sega Saturn games. I found this one and it's in a very good outer jewel case. And this is called Off-World Interceptor Extreme. So this one looks pretty fun. It has some extreme car crushing combat. Switch on the fly between cockpit and chase views. Send a buddy to oblivion and two player head to head mode. Hate cheesy video, so do we. Bust the gut watching two trash talkers smack the gratuitous video. Story mode offers 26 levels of brutality with password support. Blast across rugged 3D texture map terrain as you blow away huge bosses. So this one looks like a lot of fun. And then of course I found this one. It's Night Warrior, which is Darkstalker's Revenge, which is pretty sweet. And it has this pretty cool image on the back here and on the front. So this is a pretty sweet beat-em-up game. So this one looks really fun. It has 14 chilling Night Warriors, include four additions, two new characters, and two playable bosses, three levels of special moves for each character, and even more variety and challenge to the action. Unleash hundreds of screen blasting moves, Charge and stock a myriad of special moves, outstanding new features, auto guard blocks, and chain combos for both novice and expert players, incredible animation, sound, and graphics. So it says, witness Darkstalkers every week on the syndicated cartoon series. So that's where this actually comes from. So next up, we move on to some more items. Now a lot of these are actually Nintendo items and promo items. So this first set right here, I actually got this pretty sweet Nintendo GameCube controller. Now this one is an authentic controller. Of course, you can never have too many of these, especially when you play Super Smash Brothers. So I actually got this and this memory card. Now this is an authentic Nintendo GameCube memory card. And then I also got this red Nintendo Wii, which is a special version of the Nintendo Wii. So this is a pretty sweet variant to have in your collection. Now this is to go ahead and celebrate 25 years of Super Mario Brothers. So this was a pretty cool special edition. And of course I even added this Super Mario Brothers Wii game for this as well. So all of this was included together. So this is definitely a pretty sweet pick up right here that I actually got from one of my buddies so he definitely hooks me up anytime he finds items like these and it's definitely pretty sweet to add all of this stuff to my collection I 
even picked up this Metal Slug Anthology game. So this is for the Nintendo Wii and it says, No one is left behind. The seven best military action shooter games now on one disc. So it says celebrate the 10th anniversary of Metal Slug by joining the Metal Slug team on seven separate adventures that span across the life of the franchise in this definitive collection. So right here it says arcade perfect port of each title, pick up and play, non-stop action, a whole new way to experience one of the most intense series in arcade history. And it says Metal Slug, Metal Slug 2, Metal Slug X, Metal Slug 3, Metal Slug 4, Metal Slug 5, and Metal Slug 6. So these are some great games. I really love playing these games, especially on the Neo Geo arcade machines. That's usually where you find them. And I even have one of these on my mini arcade machine. So this is definitely sweet, and I'm really excited to try out all of the rest of these games on this because this is such a fun series, and I'll have to definitely get some gameplay for it. And of course, this one actually holds its value, so it's still a more expensive Wii game than, of course, your standard common games. And then I even picked up this Nintendo GameCube game. So here we have Space Raiders. Now this one actually looks pretty sweet. So it says right here, from the creators of Space Invaders. So of course this takes a modern spin on Space Invaders. So what you pretty much do is you stand at one end of the screen and you shoot at all of the enemies that come at you. So this is definitely a pretty cool take on Space Invaders and it's a pretty neat spin on it. So I'm shocked that I haven't actually played this before. So I'm really excited to try out this game. And then of course on to some more Nintendo games. We have these Virtual Boy games. So once again, this is a pretty small library of games for the Virtual Boy. So I added Panic Bomber and Wario Land to my collection. So these will be some fun games to go ahead and play. And then this game right here. This one was actually a great pickup for me. This is a Super Nintendo game and it's called The Adventures of Batman and Robin. So, this game is one of the more expensive Super Nintendo games. Usually I see it upwards of close to $100, maybe around $90. Well, I actually found this one local as well, and it was listed for about $50, and when I went to go pick it up, they actually knocked $10 off of it. So I bought this game for $40, and the label is in pristine shape. Now there is this Blockbuster video sticker right on top of the label, but it doesn't look like it's going to rip off anything, so I'm sure that I could safely remove it, but I may keep it on there for the history of this cartridge. And then even this Nintendo DS game, of course we have The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass, so this one looks like a pretty fun game for the Nintendo DS, and of course it's complete. So I'm pretty excited to try out this one as well. And then of course some more Nintendo items. Now I got a little bit behind on some of the Amiibo waves. So I had to play some catch up. So I picked up this Ice Climbers Nintendo Amiibo. And then even this Ridley Amiibo. And even this Inkling Girl, because this one actually looks a bit different, the character style does, as opposed to the ones that I already have. Of course, I'm still missing a couple from that wave, so I'm missing Wolf, King K. Rule, and even Piranha Plant. So I'll have to try and find those ones. If not, I'm sure I'll have to spend a little bit more money on eBay to go ahead and complete that wave. But I was on point with this new wave, so I did pick up this Young Link Amiibo, which is definitely pretty sweet looking. Even this Ken Amiibo, which is pretty cool, and even this Daisy Amiibo. So these are all complete right here, and I added all of these to my Amiibo collection. So I'm just a couple behind, and I'm sure I'll be able to find those. 
course, while I was at my local GameStop, they actually were going through some of their promo items that they had in various drawers. So they ended up giving me quite a few that I didn't have. So I actually got this Pokemon card right here. This is Ash's Pikachu. And it says, Pokemon the movie, I choose you. And then it even says promo at the bottom right there. So I thought that that was pretty neat that they still had that in their drawers. And then even these Sun and Moon Team Up stickers right here. So I thought that these were pretty cool stickers to add to my Pokemon collection. And then of course I stopped in there for their Pokemon Day. They had this promo card that you could pick up. It's Snubble and it's still sealed right there for the movie. And then they even gave me some of these posters right here that are for Detective Pikachu. So this says Pokemon Detective Pikachu. It has a lineup of all the different characters and Pokemon right there. It says only in theater summer 2019. And then it even shows you the trading card list for all the promo cards that you can get when you go to the movie theater or Target even had a special event. So I'll have to try and find a lot of these cards. So this was a pretty cool pickup as well. And then they even found this pin in their drawer and this is Pokemon Legendary. It says Lugia and Ho-Oh Pokemon pin. So this is a pretty decent sized pin and this is from 2018. It even says GameStop on here. So this was a pretty cool pre-order item as well. And then of course, even more promo items. So here we have a couple for the Nintendo Switch. We have this Super Smash Brothers Ultimate and this is a for promotional use only, not for resale pin. So this is actually pretty cool and it looks like it's pretty decent quality. And then even the Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, these are actual grips for the Joy-Cons controllers and it says analog caps for the Joy-Con controller. Once again it says for promotional use only not for resale. So these are definitely pretty sweet to add to my collection as I do have quite a bit of promo items for the Nintendo Switch. And then even this pretty fun little air freshener for Crash Team Racing and this is the Nitro Fueled game. It says right here, Wumpa Fruit Air Freshener. So this is pretty cool because it has Crash Bandicoot on it. Of course he has his tongue sticking out and it looks pretty wacky. So I'm really excited for this game that's coming out next month. And I'm so excited to play this one as it'll definitely bring back a lot of memories of when I used to play it back on the PlayStation. And this is also getting a Switch release as well. So, of course, that's pretty neat to go ahead and play with some of my friends. And then on to some more promo items. I have some of these older ones, and these are actually Call of Duty. So here we have this Call of Duty Endowment Challenge coin, and it even says Call of Duty Black Ops 2. So it's pretty cool looking, and it has the game image on this front, and then it has this engraved part on the back and then even this right here which is a limited jackal bottle opener and this is a limited edition includes bonus in-game calling card and this of course is for Call of Duty Infinite Warfare we have the Soldier 76 character from Overwatch for the PlayStation so that's pretty cool and then of course these characters right here from Life is Strange. We have two of them and I'll go ahead and open up this pack. So of course they just go right on these display stands that are included. So they just pop right on here. And they can go ahead and stand up. So these are pretty cool too and I'll definitely have to display them with a lot of my figures. And then 
some PlayStation decals right here. We have this one for Overwatch. And then we even have this gadget decals. So you can put them on your laptops and things like that and your tablets. This is a PlayStation official licensed product. And of course it comes with all of these different ones right here. Last up, I finally found some Mortal Kombat 11 promo items that I was actually missing. So of course, as you know, I have this scorpion mask. So this is the Mortal Kombat 11. It's just one of those ones that just covers the bottom part of your face and your neck. I even found these actual prints right here for Mortal Kombat 11. These are the Johnny Cage images. So on one side you have this older retro look of Johnny Cage and then of course on this side you have the newer look of Johnny Cage as he gets older. So this is definitely pretty cool as these kind of resemble those glamour shots of Johnny Cage which definitely play a part in the Mortal Kombat series. So I was excited to add those. And the last promo item that you could pick up was this pretty sweet tin lunchbox and this is the Mortal Kombat 11 it says it on each side right there and then has the logo and you can go ahead and open it up and of course now we have this collectible tin lunchbox now this one was the most limited at GameStop as a lot of stores got less than five for the pre-order so since I ordered the collector's edition online I didn't actually go in the store that night to pick it up since it was shipped to my house so I'm excited that I found one of these now I did actually have to buy this local on Facebook marketplace and then I got these ones for free and the masks because some of my local GameStop still have them in stock so this was definitely pretty sweet As you can tell I added some great items to my collection. We have tons of retro games over here for the Magnavox Odyssey 2, Neo Geo, Atari Jaguar, Sega 32X, Sega Saturn, Nintendo GameCube, even the Nintendo Wii with this special edition Nintendo Wii right here. And some new gen items we have the Nintendo Switch Amiibos, even this PlayStation decal set, and tons of promo items. So we have some for the Nintendo Switch right there, Super Smash Brothers, and even Pokemon. We have some new promo items for the Detective Pikachu movie that just came out. We have this pretty sweet poster and Pokemon card. And then even all of the promo items for the Mortal Kombat 11 that also just came out. So I was super excited to grab this lunch tin and this is a pretty cool promo item for Mortal Kombat 11. So overall, I am so excited to add all of these items to my collection. I'll have to get some gameplay videos for you guys, so stay tuned for that. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Go ahead and check out my other videos and stay tuned for more.